Hello and welcome back. Today we are practicing our RxJazz skills. We are creating an own operator to update our stream whenever the user hits a button. And we will have a closer look to combine latest and the combine latest with operator. Let's get started. To speed up the process, I already created a mock backend for us. We have a player database with an initial player. And we have two methods, one to fetch the players from the database, which depends on the club ID, and another one to add a new player to the database. The getPlayOf method just got the club ID to be a more realistic example, because it's often very common that you want to fetch the data for a specific ID. Fetch data and setup table. The first step is to show the player data in the database in our table. To do so, we need to call the getPlayers method of the service. As this method needs a club ID, we have to subscribe to this observable first. We just create a new behavior subject to get the ID from. Normally, this is just another service which holds the club ID. The next step is to inject the API service so we can fetch the data and call the method. To fetch the data though, we pipe the club ID observable and pass the club ID into the param of the switch map function, as we call an observable inside the observable stream. Now, as we prepared our observable, we can switch to the HTML of the component and create the table. I did that already for our default table, where we subscribe to the observable and iterate over the players to show them in the component. Add the player form. Now we add the functionality to add a player to the database. To do so, we navigate to the TS file. There we create a new form group with the properties first name, last name and date of birth. Let's create a new function to add the player. Inside this function we call the add player function of the API service. Here we have to wait until the player is added. In RxJS 6 you would call to promise to get the promise from the observable. But in RxJS version 7, which we use, we have to use the first value from function, which just return the first value of the stream as a promise. Now let's create the HTML part of our form. I already prepared a snippet for this. There we have a form group, which we initialize with the form group variable we defined. Furthermore, we add three input fields inside the form group and we set the form control name of these inputs to the same we declared in the form group of the TS file. Furthermore, we add a button to call the addPlayer method. To make the form more readable, I added a line break after the input fields. Normally, you should use CSS for that. Let's switch to the browser and have a look at the current state. We already have the table on the top and the form to add the new player. Let's try it out. We add a new player, Thomas Müller, and he's born in the future. And when we now hit the add player button, we see that nothing happens. Let's have a look at our code. Hit pause and try to find our problem if you like. It's somewhere here. Add combine latest to retrigger stream. When we have a closer look to our players observable, we will realize that the players are only fetched when the club ID changes, but not when a new player is added. Therefore, we need some kind of an approach that the get players method of the API is executed when the player is added. For this, we need some kind of a trigger which we will execute after we add a player. Therefore, we create a new property updater, which we initialize with a behavior subject with the default value null. For this, we will use the combine latest operator, which will emit whenever one of the input observables emit a value. 
After adding the club ID and the updater observable as input to the function, the stream will always run through when one of these two observables emits a value. As combine latest now return an array of values and not a single value, we get a compile error. To fix this, we have to add an array declaration to the parameter of the switch map function. To do so, we just add braces to the parameter of the function and we just add another parameter which we separate with a comma and just name it underscore, which is just a notation to show that we don't use this parameter. The last step to make this example work is that we have to call the next function on the updater here in the add player function. Let's go back to the browser and try again to add a new player. And now let's hit add player and then we will see that there is a real new player added to the table. Let's add a tab console log statement to our stream to see what really happens. Now we would see in the console that our stream gets executed. Refactor the code. There are a lot of things which we can improve. Just consider the following example. Let's assume we have an imaginary map operator here, which lasts two minutes to execute. Whenever we add a player, this two minutes map would be executed, which is not necessary. In other words, we only want to execute the switch map and not the whole other stuff above the switch map. Another bad code is that we always have to handle the array which the combine latest produces, in spite of the fact we don't even use the second value of the result. And the last bad code is our behavior subject, which needs an initial value and where we have to emit null so that the emit works. As we have seen, there are a lot of things which are not nice yet. I think we can do better and therefore we eliminate all these problems now. At first, let's eliminate the problem with the rerun of the long running map operator. For this, we remove the combine latest and add combine latest with inside the pipe. Combine latest with is the brand new operator of RxJS version 7 and it gets the updater as an input. To make it more clear what happens, I will add another console log statement here. When we now have a look at the browser we see that the application is still working and whenever we add a player only the second console log statement is printed out which means that the whole operators before the pipe are not executed anymore. But we still have the problem with the array result in the switch map. So the question which appears, how can we eliminate this underscore in the switch map here? Create own RxJS operator to update the stream. To do so, we have to create a new observable and inner observable where we call pipe and where we just map the result which we really need to the outer observable. And as we need this functionality over and over again within our application, we extract this approach into an own file, which I called updater.ts. And to save some time, I already created the function where we will go through now. We created a new exported function, which we call updater. The function gets an observable as input which is the updater of the component. The return type is a monotype operator function and we return a new function which has the source observables input and there we call the combine latest with an our inner observable stream. Additionally, we add the start with operator to handle the problem that our updater of the component needs an initial value. The last step is to return only the value we need. Now we can use the function we created in our component.
For this, we remove the combine latest with operator and use our update the function instead. We also have to change the param of the switch map function to a single value if you haven't already. But our update the function still throws an error. Hit pause and try to find the problem. The problem is that the type of our updater subject and the expected type of the updater function don't fit together. We have to change our behavior subject to avoid subject to make it work. And we have to remove the null which we passed into the next function of the updater. And now that we have eliminated all the problems we had and we really have a beautiful solution, let's have a look at the browser if everything is still working. When we add the player, we see that only the second console lock is shown in the console, which means only this part is executed, which is exactly what we expected and what we wanted to have. You want to improve your programming skills? Then subscribe to the channel and click the bell.